So, uh, I always like I always like to point these out just because they're cool, and we are doing an edible. Uh, this isn't a. I mean, it's a plant. It's related to plants, but we are doing an edible thing. Um, and I would. This is because of the gross out factor. I really would ask nobody to eat this. Um, you supposedly you can. So these are interesting. These are called galls. Um, a fly actually lays its eggs in the stem, and uh, it alters the DNA of the stem. It causes this big sort of this 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 big round thing. Um, and it's found in goldenrod. Uh, oaks get galls, I and mean, there are all sorts of things that get galls. But sometimes you'll find this perfect little pinhole in the side of the gall. Yep, there's one. I mean, this is a prairie, uh, and it's loaded with them. Um, sometimes you'll find this perfect little pinhole in the side, and that's where the larva chewed its way out. Um, or you'll find this jagged thing that looks like somebody went after it with maybe a Phillips screwdriver. They just sort of, well, that's where a little woodpecker, like a hairy or a downy woodpecker, went after the larva and extracted it itse itself. But we'll, we're going to see if anybody's home in these two. Because um, supposedly these are a good survival food. Now, I mean, again, I'm... I'm going to ask that nobody eats this one, uh, even for demonstration purposes, just because of the gross out factor. Um, some people have weak stomachs. Why did they feel it was a good survival? Um, is it so common? Yeah, well... Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying the gall or the larvas? The larva. Larva, oh, the larva the itself. Larva. Yeah, the larva. I mean, we're in, in the Western world, we're the oddballs um, because we don't eat bugs. I mean, bugs are actually a staple in much of the world as far as food, you know. Um, we're kind of the oddballs. I mean, bugs are nothing but protein. They're protein on legs, you know. Uh, that's it. They're, you don't have to prepare them usually. I mean, sometimes you can braise them in a nice peanut oil and, you know, that's it. But, uh, you know, a lot of times it's just cracking open a dead log and going after it. So, uh, so it doesn't look like anybody's home. This one might have already escaped. I'll, I'll break open another one and see. They're just kind of cool. I mean, they're essentially just a little, just a little kind of maggoty looking Larva. <laughs> cool um, looking back at you. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you gotta appreciate the whole picture. Oh, yep, so here's one, and he's already, looks like he's pupating. He's got a nice little hard shell. Um, Is it just one larva? Yep. Per, one per one per gall. Now, there are other ones you do. That would take um, a long time to get a freaking wow. out of those <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. But this is this is an ener this is an energy effective thing. You you know, you know how many you can gather without burning that many calories. You, know? you can you can gather a bunch. There's a, there's kind of a rule, and they oh he kind of fell back in. He is. So you can uh, there's kind of a rule in nature that animals <laughs> abide by, and if you're in a survival situation, you should should abide by. You never go after anything that's going to burn more calories than it's going to yield. So if you, if there's a coconut. And you're going to burn up all your energy trying to climb the tree and risk injury, you know, uh, to get the coconut. You should probably try something else. Um, now these guys, you could gather, you could gather an indefinite amount without burning that many. You know, that, you could crawl for that matter and, you know, gather them and just break them open. Oh, <laughs> the wind took him. Yep. So we'll keep 